Hi guys, are you ready for more essential Pro Tools settings? Pro Tools is a complex program, and in our past couple of videos, we started a mini series on important settings to know within Pro Tools. I'll put a card or something up here on the screen so you can check out the first couple of videos in that series if you haven't already. Today, I'll continue talking about some of my favorite settings to use and at least know about within Pro Tools. This is by no means a comprehensive list of settings within Pro Tools, it's just a few of my favorite ones. So let's talk about it. First for today is Insertion Follows Playback. Now, my students ask me about this one all the time, so I figured I should include it in any discussion of important Pro Tools settings. Everyone has their own preference with this setting, so you often might find yourself walking into a studio that has it set in the opposite way that you prefer, and if you don't know how to fix it, you might get very frustrated. So basically, insertion follows playback refers to what happens when you hit play for a little while and then stop the playback. If insertion follows playback is on, then if you hit play again after stopping playback, then the playback will continue from where you left off. If insertion follows playback is off, then playback will start up again from where you originally started the playback. So to change this setting, you can either go to the setup menu, choose preferences, go to the operation tab, and then check or uncheck the timeline insertions dash play start marker follows playback option. Or you can hit the insertion follows playback button. When the option in the preferences window is checked off and the button is blue, then your audio will start back up wherever you left off. If the option in the preferences window is not checked off and the button is gray, then your audio will start up wherever you clicked to originally start the audio playback. So that's insertion follows playback. Our second setting for today is rearranging your toolbar. I always surprise people with this one because so many people don't seem to know about it but you can actually move the location of tool sections in the top toolbar section of your edit window by holding command on your keyboard and dragging the sections around. Since no one seems to know about it, it's kind of mean to do unless you're the only one working in the studio. But you could probably prank someone with this and enjoy their confusion when they go into the studio and everything is all out of the standard order. That's all I have time for for today. I could keep going with this list for quite some time, so maybe I'll make another video on the topic at some point. But for now, I hope you like this video and I hope some of this information was useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. For today's question, I wanna know which setting do you prefer for insertion follows playback and why? Please leave your answers in the comments below. Also, I now have a Patreon, so if you feel like it, the link is in the description and I would love for you guys to check that out. Also, if you like this video, please hit the little like button, share the video, or subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming out with new videos every other Wednesday, and thanks for watching. Okay.